In this downtown loft office, a group of engineers at Acuity Design are working on the cutting edge of computer manufacturing, utilizing 3D printers to fabricate just about anything, from car parts to artwork. Utilizing designs run through more commonplace computer-assisted design programs, the Acuity team converts schematics into files fed to the printers, which utilize materials like nylon to print the various objects. For, for the younger generation that's used to looking at things on computer screens, it's maybe not quite as much of a revelation, but for those of us who, you know, looking at a 3D model on a two-dimensional screen is still kind of like, you know, it's, it's a little bit intangible, but all of a sudden you can make it physical. You know, you can actually hold it in your hand. But I think just the accessibility for the everyday inventor to be able to make a part or make a design like that, that's what we really wanted to do is help people to be able to like, flourish in their own. The designs can be as simple as models based off a photograph combined with dimensions or existing computer-aided design files, although it takes a little hacking. There are certain shapes that the 3D printers don't like very much, so we kind of have to sometimes slice the CAD model in half, or we have to scale it to make sure it fits on the 3D printer. Uh, so yeah, there, there is that manipulation involved sometimes. And once you start seeing this way, the ideas fly. Well, yeah, James and I just the other day, we were sitting there looking at our mountain bike, just thinking, what can we print on this thing? And you know, just limitless possibilities. It's like, you know, oh, we want a gun rack for a mountain bike, or oh, I want to put my headlamp on there. And, you can. You, know, you don't have to use duct tape. You can actually have something presentable. So, In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.